Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday and welcome to my channel. My name is Lee and I want to talk about this new chapter that I'm taking and that I'm starting and um, it's definitely taking a lot of accountability take taking accountability for my past mistakes taking accountability for the position that I have in life and taking um, taking a big leap of faith so um, I'm realizing that still I'm um, there's still a lot to work that I'm working on. There's still a lot that I have to confront because um, if I really want to walk in faith, if I really want to put God first, if I really want to be the best version of myself, it has, I have to admit when I'm wrong. And I have to admit that I thought that I was doing the right thing. I thought that you know, this makes sense. But a lot of things haven't made sense because I haven't been putting God first. I've been putting me first. And along the journey, it makes sense that I took that route because I just spent a lot of time not putting me first. I, I spent a lot of time putting the world first. So putting me first and putting God first are two different things. Um, for whatever reason, I've been blessed with my mind, body, and spirit exactly the way that it is. I've been blessed with a little bit of a little bit of extra razzle dazzle here, and I've been a, a little blessed with with some some stuff over here some stuff i really don't like and there's some stuff that i love and there's some stuff that's kind of in between and one of those things is polycystic ovarian syndrome um polycystic ovarian syndrome sucks just <laughs> just to sum it up really simply pcos is an imbalance of your hormones um it's one of the leading causes of infertility in women. One in three women have this syndrome, and um, it involves a, a variety of things. Um, irre 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 irregular, can I say that word? Irregular cycles, um, um, in, imbalance in your progesterone levels, an imbalance of certain vitamins and minerals that you need in your body, um, an imbalance of testosterone, an imbalance of estrogen, an imbalance of um, hair loss and hair growth, male pattern, um, male, pa male pattern hair growth, um, hair heristem, I think I said that correctly, or, um, and that's one of the symptoms that is, has been the greatest challenge in my life. So why why i started with you know putting me first well you know if i'm if i'm nice to people they should be nice to me you know if if i'm nice to them they shouldn't be mean to me if i'm nice to them they shouldn't judge me you know but we're people and we're flawed and um i'm not sure exactly why i've been blessed with this i'm not sure what it is that you know is the is 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 the lesson but i think um for me it's it's always it's always causing insecurity it's always causing insecurity i've been insecure about my looks my whole life um uh and you know what i've kind of I've, I've i've taken it on as you know what again i don't want to be mean to anybody so i'm going to be nice and nobody should be mean to me but people are people and it doesn't really make any sense and um it's like well why you know why are you being mean to me 
Why, why are you rejecting me? Why are you being condescending to me? Why are you being judgmental to me because of these things? And it's like, you know what? Doesn't matter. You get to, you get to, you get to feel however you want to feel. You get to gossip about me and be disrespectful and not like me as much as you choose. I'm not going to worry about what you say anymore. I'm going to focus on the fact that God made me this way. And I am not whatever narrative you believe me to be. I'm not an ugly, hairy man. I am not Chewbacca. I'm not transgender. I'm not ugly. I'm not stupid. And it's okay that you feel that way about me. I don't feel that way about me anymore. So I'm not going to align to the narrative that you have for me. I'm going to align with the narrative that says that I'm enough and I'm beautiful and I'm smart and I'm worthy and I'm kind and I get to be happy today, not tomorrow, not next week. Not in spite of, I just get to be happy because God woke me up this morning. And it's okay. It's okay that you don't like me. It's okay. It's not okay for me to not like myself anymore. It's not okay for me to hide my face because I'm ashamed of what you think about me. You can think whatever you want. Oh, God, I'm beautiful. Oh, God, I'm smart. Oh, God, I'm enough. Oh, God, I woke up because of you, not because of anybody else. I woke up because of you, God. I woke up because you, you died on the cross for my sins. You said Jesus would die on the cross for my sins. And I know I've, I've sinned. I've, I'm a sinner. <laughs> I sinned because I wanted to fill that hole with the world because the world's acceptance was going to be enough for me. And then I realized I was never going to get the world's approval. I'm never going to get the approval of other people. And if I keep looking for it, I, that's what's going to keep eluding me. I surrender. I surrender because I can't fight this fight. I can't fight this fight. I don't fight. I'm not fighting no more. I've allowed fear and shame and guilt to keep me in a place I do not belong. And I've let that keep me in that place too long. Way too long. I didn't even see what was in the mirror. The truth. The real truth. Nothing but the truth. God made a beautiful person. And no, there's some things that I just don't like. But that's okay. I'm working on it. I'm not, I'm not perfect. God made me this way. I'm not going to adopt the narrative, whatever you wanted, whatever you got for me. I'm not going to. I'm not going to come into alignment with your lies. I'm not going to come into alignment with your hatred. I'm not going to come into alignment with your nonsense. Keep it. Because you know what? I know deep down. The people that are doing all this talking, they're doing so much talking behind the scenes at themselves. It's easy. It's so easy to judge other people when you're judging yourself. It's so easy to adopt the narrative of, of bitterness and hatred when you are doing it to yourself. 
So today I'm I'm asking anyone out here that that's just you know they woke up this morning and they felt that on their spirit of that anger and that frustration of 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 why why are they doing this don't I'm inviting you to a space of peace that is not for them that is for you I'm inviting you to that to 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 remember who you are with the with with God I'm inviting you to align with who it is that created you. I'm inviting you to align with the goodness and the mercy that endures forever. That is not just some of the time, but it's all the time. Oh, woo. God is good all the time. <laughs> Yay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> you never failed. You never abandoned me. You never left me. I might not be pretty to them, but oh, Lord, you made me wake up this morning. <laughs> That's got me jumping this morning. <laughs> That's got me celebrating life this morning. That's got me feeling real good this morning. Tears on my eyes, running down my face, kind of messing up my makeup a little bit. But let me tell you, oh, so blessed and highly favored. It takes time. It takes so much time but you just keep pouring god's word into you you keep pouring in the goodness and the mercy and the love that god has given you keep pouring it in keep pouring it in keep pouring it in keep pouring it in keep allowing that grace to fill you up allow god to hold you close allow him to be everything that he is don't just take don't, don't don't just take some of it don't don't go up to the ocean of love and just ask for a little thimble there's an unconditional ocean of love waiting for you and it has nothing to do with anybody else that relationship with you and god is so precious. Know that you have been purchased with a price. Know that you are so blessed and highly favored. Know that you are loved. Oh, you are so loved. Know that whatever you're facing and you're feeling like, <sighs> I just can't do it. I know I gotta figure it out. I gotta. It's already figured out. It's already figured out. It's already done. It's already good. It's already It's already greater than you could have asked for. <laughs> I love every single one of you, everyone watching and not watching, everyone around the world. Your mistakes don't define you. Other people's perception is not your who you really are. You are so loved. Give all of your fear, your doubt, your shame, your guilt, your apprehension. Give it all to God. Give it, surrender it to God today. God, 
Father God, I'm asking with bowed heads, folded hands, God, I'm asking for protection and love for all of your children. I'm asking that whatever they are feeling, that if it just feels too much, God, I'm I'm asking you to, to lift up their hearts, lift up their hearts and hold them close. Remove all of the fear. Remove it, God, slowly but surely. Let them see how you view them, not how the world views them. Allow them to see what you see. Allow them to know what you know. Allow them to know that it doesn't matter how long it's hurt and how bad it's been and how dark it's been. You never left. You are the way, the truth, and the light. You are the lamp unto our feet and the light unto our path, Father God. Father God, thank you. Thank you on this beautiful Sunday that you woke us up this morning. Father God, thank you for our families. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our schools and our teachers and all of the people around the world, the politicians that are going through what they're going through. I pray for them, Father God. I pray for the weather. I pray that our finances improve. I pray that our relationships with other people improve. I pray that the relationship with you becomes stronger and stronger and stronger every day, Father God. I pray for this planet Earth. I pray that everything falls into alignment with your plan, the plans to prosper, not to harm us, Father God. Father God, forgive us for our trespasses. Forgive us for all of our nonsense. Forgive us for the doubting you, Father, that you don't know exactly where we are. Allow us to do that thing that we're afraid to do, that we just need to do, so you know. You know. That that, that 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 faith that's the size of a mustard seed that we know that we we're on we're in alignment that that's more than enough. That faith the size of a mustard seed is more than enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped anyone who was just feeling a little low today. I'm praying that this message reached anybody that just wanted to give up today. That the, the people that just were oh, the gossiping and the hurting and, the, and, the, and this depression and the anxiety was just getting to them today. I'm praying that you see this message and you know that you are so loved. You are loved. You are enough. I'm working on a song for us. Does it have a name yet? I'm working on a song for us. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.